it's Jenny McGarvey and as you can see here I am sharing another week with you in my memory planner. The first thing to note is that I had started this week and I was looking on a different week to refer to so the plans for Monday through Thursday were wrong. So I'm left with tearing up stickers, covering, stamping, those sorts of things which is only a bummer because I really liked the way the week was looking before. So, as you can see, I'm tearing up the stickers so that I don't have a bulky underneath, like if I wanna stamp on things or write on things, things like that, or like put down new stickers, it's not bulky. And like I said already, it's totally unfortunate because I was pretty pleased with the way that it had turned out. But you know what? That's how it goes. I'm not going to get too worked up about it. And it's easy enough to fix, even though it seems at the time like, oh my gosh, that's totally crazy. You know, what am I going to do? Because I was pretty annoyed with myself for screwing it up. But you know what? It all ends up okay in the end. And I can barely even tell that it happened. Now, obviously, I remember that I did it. But when it's all said and done, it's not really all that noticeable that I had done a whole different page layout to begin with. So as you can see, I'm just working on covering some things for that middle section on the Monday. I used a full boxed type sticker to cover up the stencil I had used. And then I used one of those little bubble checklists to help list all of the different events because there were so many things happening on Monday, it would have been almost impossible to fit it all in in one day. So the bubble checklist really helped me get a handle on that and really write down all of the different things that was going on. There were also a few different other things, including the hexagons and that other little box with the icon notating what was going on as well. Now on Tuesday, I have moved on over and I am using a, another one of those boxes with the icons to notate a game. And then it also included the score of the game as well. That's kind of one of the cool things about this memory planning thing is that it's very similar to scrapbooking. Like I can record, you know, wins and losses and all those sorts of things and then refer back to it in the future. Now this is one of those really cool stencils and it's included in the June Scraptastic Club plan on it kit and it's so fantastic and I really love that it's the speech bubbles and they're so fun to use and they really add a different element to the page than your typical rectangles or squares or those sorts of things and you wouldn't even have to do it just the way that I did it with a simple pen but it's definitely the simplest way to use the stencil and then still have some decorative elements it's very cool I'm very happy with it now, as you can see, I'm still working with a stamp in the Tuesday section because I love stamping, I love stencils, I love stickers, I love all of the different elements that you can use. And that's why these Plan On It kits are really cool because there are so many different parts and so many different pieces. And that's a really neat thing. And I love the varied look that it ends up giving my planner pages. Now again, as mentioned almost every week that I've ever done this, one of my favorite things to do is to stamp an icon and then use one of those flag looking or arrow looking stickers to notate the event that is pointing to that icon. I just for some reason really like the way that it looks and I love that it combines the stamping and the stickers at the same time. Now as you can see I'm getting to nearly the end of where I had already planned and I needed to work back to it and I'm just gonna keep on trucking through the week or that part of the week with the initial miss, blah, 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 excuse me, mix up using the Scraptastic Club Plan On It kit and then for my memory planning also including the This Life Noted kit. Now here's the second half of the week. It is completely blank. Yay, who knew I'd be so excited for a blank portion of a week. And I'm going to just continue my stamping and stickering using the little watch icon, which is adorable. I love it right on top of that little banner sticker. And uh, that's really exciting. I would have normally maybe thought that a smaller icon would have been better, but I think that looks perfectly good. So I'm kind of excited that I actually tried it. Now I know that it works. One of the fun things for those rectangle stamps also is to sort of invert them, use them in a different way. I normally think of them as horizontal from left to right, but here I rotated it and now it's a vertical sticker and it looks really cool that way too and sort of fills up that box. So for some of those boxes where you don't have as much going on, it's kind of a good way to use it 
to fill a little bit more of the space without going crazy and still remaining completely functional. Now for Friday morning in that little section where I've notated the pedicure, there's another great way for layering, just using a really super basic label, a heart, and then a little nail polish bottle that I had in my stash. And it just, it does the job. It's still just notating that appointment, but it looks really cute and who's not a fan of a tiny little nail polish bottle. It's adorable. Now we're still working our way through and looking at different ways to notate the different events including just using that heart sticker to notate a little activity that I had for a Saturday evening and not making a big deal out of it. You know, it's just kind of simple. It doesn't require a whole lot and it looks really adorable and mixes and matches with all of the rest of the things really well. Now on Saturday, using three different stickers to do a little bit of layering, including using one of those half box decor boxes and a little label and then a star on top of it. I don't love when I drop my stamp. As you can see there on the Friday night and Saturday night, I dropped my stamp. And it not only stamped it once, but it stamped it twice. So it's completely and totally messed up. So I needed to remove that heart sticker that I was just waxing poetic about because I'm going to have to cover it up because there's no other way to get around it. And you know what? It's okay. It happened. There's nothing I can do. I dropped the stamp and it was all inked up and now I have it there. But so I'm going to leave it for just a moment while I think and while I plan and figure out what I can do to work on that and continue to stamp and stencil and all those things. And then remember that included with the kit is this really fun pack of die cuts. And there is definitely no way that I'm not going to use them. They're super cute. They go perfectly with sort of the color scheme and the overall feel for the week and the little square layered with a hexagon and then the little label that says these days is perfect. It's absolutely the perfect way to cover my mistake, but in all honesty, I really like it and I wouldn't have used it had I not screwed it up. So you know what? Three cheers for screwing up because sometimes you can make a bad thing end up okay. So now I'm just going to use my little tape runner and adhere that down. If you're not familiar with tape runners, they're a godsend. They're wonderful. You can get them anywhere. Hobby Lobby's, Michael's, online, anywhere. This is a sticky thumb one. It's by American Crafts, but it's not particularly special. It's not my favorite. It's just what I happen to have. And you absolutely should just hit up your local craft school store and find a tape runner that works for you. It's definitely a lifesaver in terms of adhering things to the paper. Now we're looking back on Wednesday and adding some more photos. As you can see on the other half of the week, I had already trimmed a couple of down, used my circle punch, and I'm getting all of those photos. But this one, I am going to adhere an Instax photo to my page. I've been using my Instax camera a little bit more this summer and loving it. And it is the perfect fit for this planner. It's a little bit wider, but if you know anything about me and my planning, I like to mix things up. So it doesn't matter to me that it falls over the edge into Tuesday. That's fine. I'll make it work. And in the end, it'll end up looking perfectly cute, and I will be very happy with it. And not to mention that that photo looks super different. It's very fun, and that's cool to me. So I've just rearranged some of the elements that I've already put there. And that's it, and it looks great. And it's you can't be afraid to move some of these things around because really there's no messing it up too much. As you've already seen in this week, I messed up the whole week pretty much, and in the end, it was fine. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of washi tape because this was a very heavy baseball week, and the washi goes with the overall theme. And I'm not going to lie, I love it. It's super cute, and I'm more than happy to use it. And I'm going to pull that little play sticker out and add it to my Instax photo just for a little bit more fun and added embellishment, and then continue adding washi tape on the right side of the layout as well, a different baseball one, because yes, I have two different types of baseball washi, which I love them both. I could never choose, so please don't ever make me. Now I'm going to look through these stickers that are included in the kit because I'm thinking, okay, I feel like I should embellish a little bit more 
particularly on Saturday and Sunday. But you know what? I'm just going to let it be. The white space is great. I'm a big fan of white space. It gives your, your eye a place to rest. And so I'm just going to leave it and move on to working in the page protector where I will put four different cards and four different photos and really capture the images of this week. And now I've trimmed down different size photos using my Canon selfie printer. I've got a couple of two by threes, a couple of three by fours, and those are just, I love changing it up because again, it gives your eyes something different to look at. It's different ways to embellish and it's really just a great way to make things work for you. Because for example, that was those are both horizontal photos. I can't get a horizontal photo in a vertical page protector. But enter in a smaller photo and it works perfectly. So for me, changing up the format of what I am doing is just right. Now I'm looking through the cards that come in the this life noted kit trying to find the perfect ones to use in the page protectors and with my photos and I come up with a few that I do really like and that I want to use but I keep thinking like oh well, maybe there's something better I don't know because this is a very like sort of play week because there's so many games and all that kind of stuff and so I'm just thinking that maybe I should continue looking but who knows who knows what the right answer is right I can always make anything work Now I knew that I was going to include this 3x4 photo, but I wanted to dress it up just a tiny bit because as you can see, it is there's a lot of white space in the photo, and by white space I don't mean actual white, but just where it's not part of the photo or the important part of the photo. And so I'm trying to figure out what can I do to make that all better, look better, be a little bit more embellished. And I'm going to think on it. I'm going to put it in the page protector and I'm going to think on it. And while I think on it, I'm going to work on the journaling for this little details card, which is just perfect. It's a great way to get a few sentences down about the week, but not no, go crazy. It's not like I'm totally um, making a, writing a novel about the week. It's just a couple of sentences. Now the back is super cute, except for obviously I need to work on it and include some more of the photos. So I am going to include two 3x4 photos, so I'm going to also need two 3x4 filler cards. And these are really fun, I like them a lot, I'm happy to use them in my layout. But like I said earlier, I kind of kept feeling like there might be something better out there for me. I wasn't exactly sure what, but as you can see, embellishing just a little bit keeps it fun and keeps it exciting. And the Fun and Games sticker does just that, right? So now I'm going through the add-on for the This Life Noted kit, and I find them. I find the cards that are perfect for this particular layout that has sort of a play theme. And these cards are exactly the same. So I was super happy that I sort of held off and knew that maybe there was something else out there for me. So now I'm just going to put the page protector back in my happy planner, add the tiniest bit of washi, and then I'm completely finished. The week is all set and ready to go. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my video. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, I would love it if you'd leave me a thumbs up. That lets me know that you enjoyed the video, and it also lets YouTube know the types of things that you like to see. Thank you so much, and make it a great day.